Hi, I'm Shelly from App Extremes, the Conga guys, and today I'll be showing you how to use Conga Composer with Word templates. First, we're going to launch Conga Composer. Next, we'll use Template Builder to gather our desired fields from Salesforce. Then we'll build merge fields on a Word document. And finally, we'll merge the document to make sure everything's working like we want it to and then upload that template to Salesforce. The example that I'll show you today is building a thank you letter. Our current process is that we're manually writing these thank you letters to customers, entering their company details, the date, their name, and so forth. Today I'll show you how to transition this manual process to one that's more automatic, using Conga Composer to populate the data from Salesforce.com. Of course, Conga Composer also supports Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF templates, but in this video, we'll focus on Word. To start, we've built a Conga Composer button already in Salesforce. Mine is on a contact record, and the button that I have built is called Thank You Letter. We'll start by launching Conga Composer by clicking this button. The Conga dialog box allows you to control the behavior of your Conga solution. With it, you can specify the source of your template, which can come from Salesforce or from your hard drive. You can also tell Conga to output either a PDF document or retain the format of your original document. You can control logging behavior and you can display the template builder or the ViewData workbook to help you build your template. For more details, watch the Conga Composer dialog box video on your YouTube channel. Next, we'll use Template Builder to gather the desired fields from Salesforce. Clicking the Template Builder link launches another dialog box. It lists all of the fields that we have available from Salesforce for our particular merge solution. Since in my example, I built my button on a contact record, we're seeing all of the related account fields for that contact, as well as the contact fields themselves, which you see further down here. So now that Template Builder is ready to go, I'm going to pull up the Word template that we've been using. Like I said, in the past, we've been manually populating these fields, like the date, company name, and so forth. But I'm going to transition this to build merge fields instead. Merge fields act as a placeholder that tell Conga what data we need from Salesforce to be populated into the Word document. So here I have company name, and I'm going to go back to Template Builder to pull the appropriate field from Salesforce. For our company name, we're actually using the account name, so I'm going to use the search field at the top to just search name, and the first result you see here is account name. By clicking on the field name, you can see we get a message in the upper right corner that says the account name has been automatically copied to our computer's clipboard. This makes it easy to build a merge field. We simply go back to the Word document, delete the placeholder that I had for company name, and we'll build a merge field instead. To build the merge field, simply click the Insert menu at the top of your Word screen, followed by the Quick Parts button, Field, click M, like Mary, on your keyboard twice for Merge Field, and you see it takes us right to the merge field selection here. And then in the field name field at the top here, I'll simply paste in the value that I copied from Template Builder, account name, click OK, and now we have a merge field. We can tell this is a merge field because it has the double arrows or chevrons on either side of the field. And if we click anywhere on the field, it gets this gray background. Now if you've entered your field and then decide that you've copied the wrong value from Template Builder, you can always right-click anywhere on the field. 
select edit field from the field menu and just change the value here. So there's our first merge field. We're going to continue this process with the rest of our placeholders. So next up I have street. Again, I'm just going to use the search box to search for street and I want to use contact mailing street. Again, I'm just clicking that, copying the value automatically to my clipboard. This time I'll show you the keyboard shortcut for inserting merge fields. That's Alt, I like insert, F for field, again MM for merge field, then you can tab to the field name box, Control V like Victor will paste, or of course you can right click paste. Then simply click OK with your mouse, or you can always click Enter, and there's your merge field. So again, I'm just searching for the proper field, and then going back to Word to build that as a merge field. I prefer the keyboard shortcut for inserting fields, but if you prefer the mouse click, certainly do that. They function exactly the same. For zip code, I happen to remember that Salesforce stores it as postal code, so you can see contact mailing postal code. If the last merge field is for first name, so I'll delete that. Again, I'll search name. And this time, instead of getting account name, I want contact first name. Okay, that looks really good. The last item that we have is today's date. And rather than having to manually type that in, I'm going to have Conga Composer populate that for us automatically. We're just going to insert a merge field again Instead of grabbing a field name from our template builder dialog box, I'm simply going to type in the word today, which tells Conga to populate today's date. All right, this looks really good. So I'm going to save my changes and let's go back to our Conga Composer dialog box. And we'll do a test merge to make sure everything is working like we want. I'm going to use this second option for choose a template from my local computer. By default, this option is only available to system administrators. I'm going to use it now for testing purposes, and then later I'll show you how to upload the template to salesforce.com so we won't have to do this every time. And again, end users by default do not have the ability to use this. Okay, so simply browse for my file. Open it, select it here, and click Merge. So Conga's gathered up that data from Salesforce and populated it into the Word template. We can open that up now. And we see today's date got populated, as well as the account name, mailing address, and first name. Well, now that we know that everything is working like we want it to, I'm going to show you how to upload this template into Salesforce. I'll close this Conga Composer dialog box and then go to my All Tabs view here in Salesforce. When you installed the Conga Composer package, it included the custom object for Conga templates. Yours may say Conga templates v5, Rest assured, they're exactly the same thing. We'll start by clicking the New button to create a new Conga template record and give our template a name. I'll call mine Thank You Letter. I'm using the Template Group field, and to learn more about that, visit our Knowledge Base. 
You can also learn about the master field to set one, two, and three fields that you see on the right side here. For template type, I'll select document, and then we'll click save. So we have the template record now, but we need to actually attach the template file. So I'll click attach file, browse for my file where I saved it on my computer, click attach file, and there's our file. So I'll click done. Now that our template is uploaded into Salesforce, I'll go back to our contact record, Dagny Taggart, and let's do the merge again, start to finish, just to make sure everything is working like we want. Again, we'll launch Conga Composer by clicking our Conga Composer button. Mine happens to be Thank You Letter. I'll select Thank You Letter, the template that we just uploaded to Conga Templates, and click the gray Merge button. So Conga Composer will now gather up all of the data from Salesforce and merge that into the Word template. And we get our lovely Word output file. And you can see again we got today's date, the company name, mailing address, and first name, all with just two clicks. Conga Composer makes things really easy and this is going to save us a great deal of time. Thanks for watching today's video on Conga Composer and Word templates and I hope you'll watch some other ones as well. See you next time. Do you have more questions? Check out the AppExtreme support site. Here you can search our knowledge base, access our full documentation and set of downloads, as well as provide direct feedback to the AppExtreme's team. In addition, you can review our FAQs and create new cases for our support team. Did you know that AppExtremes has a YouTube channel? Be sure to drop by to watch our latest training videos and announcements.